It doesn't have to take up your whole life. I don't want to spend all of my day thinking about or preparing food. I don't want that. I have other stuff that I would like to do. Well, hello there, beautiful people. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, I thought I would show you my favorite go-to daily smoothie recipe. I'm really excited about it because it's the first smoothie routine that I've actually stuck to and really enjoyed. I am just gonna sit on here because that feels a bit better. If you're new here, my name is Sarah. I'm a medical doctor, fitness coach, a lot of other things too, but I share like lifestyle videos here on YouTube, especially ones to do with staying fit and healthy and looking after our bodies. Now, I love food. I absolutely love food and I love eating healthily, but my number one healthy eating rule is to only eat stuff you like. If you try to force your stuff to eat things that taste really bad, you're probably not gonna stick to it. So that's what I've been trying to do. And this is the first smoothie routine recipe that I personally have been able to stick to because I think smoothies are great, like a nice cold beverage on a sunny day, three of them in England, no, a nice cold beverage in summer, I love that. It's a really quick and easy way to get in your greens and all of your nutrients. I'll share my recipe with you today. I will leave it written up in the description of this video. The first thing that I did was that I changed my routine around it in terms of what I do is I buy the ingredients and on the day that they arrive, I wash them, cut them up, and I put them into individual bags so that in order to actually have the routine, I don't have to cut anything in the morning. I don't have to be prepping fruit and veg on a Monday morning as I'm rushing to get to the hospital and start my shift. No, 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 that wasn't realistic for me. That wasn't realistic for me. So doing it all like the day the food arrives, number one, it means that your food doesn't go off. I've definitely been that girl when you buy a load of healthy food because you're like, I'm gonna be healthy this time. And then it just dies in your fridge and it's moldy and rotting and you just throw it away like you're throwing money to the wind. No, 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 that's not what we're trying to achieve here. So number one, having that routine stops it from going off before you use it. Number two, it means that your smoothie's already cold, so you don't have to add ice because the actual ingredients are already frozen and cold in the freezer. And number three, it means that it's quick. It means that it's something that you can do quickly and enjoy, and so it doesn't have to take up your whole life. Like sometimes, you know, eating healthily can become someone's whole identity, which is, which is fine. There's nothing wrong with that if you're really obsessed with it. But I have a lot of other stuff that I love doing. I don't want to spend all of my day thinking about or, you know, preparing food. I don't want that. I have other stuff that I would like to do. Like make videos for you guys and act and sleep and watch films and see my friends and family. So yeah, without further ado, I will show you what I love to do to make my morning smoothie. <laughs> okay, here we are in my breakfast corner. I love to keep all the things that I use regularly for breakfast in one corner. It just makes it way, way easier, but you can see more about that in my kitchen organization tour. So here I've got my oats, some leftover oil from flying plantain that I just didn't want to throw away because I knew I had more plantain to fry. Anyway, and my Nutribilla is what I use for smoothies. And then up here, it's a bit of a mess right now, but I have my little bits and bobs which I can add into a smoothie. I rarely add them into a smoothie, I'm not gonna lie, but I've got some chia seeds, some sesame seeds, some flax seeds, different like vanilla, um, different electrolytes and stuff like that, which I don't really use that much. But what I do use is my clear vegan protein. So I get this from my protein. Now, I'm not necessarily recommending this because I've been trying to cut down on processed foods, but I find that adding a couple scoops of this into any smoothie will make it taste great and also add in some extra protein. So yeah, I'm definitely trying to cut down on processed foods, but I do still use these mainly because I already bought them. So I want to get my money's worth, but also because they do taste great. And it's like a clear, um, protein drink, so you can have it as like a juice. It tastes like squash, basically, but it also makes your smoothies taste amazing. Um, and then up here, I've got all like my takeaway smoothie stuff. So what I do to make my smoothie in the morning is that I grab my Nutribullet. I always rinse it because no matter how well I wash it, it always still smells like yesterday's smoothie. Just gonna be honest with you. <laughs> okay, bit of water, give it a shake and then I fill it up. And then what I do is I go in my freezer and I grab a smoothie bag. I've got different bags from different food shops that I've had delivered, but what I'm having today is my carrot, ginger, lemon, and cucumber smoothie. So there's like almost a whole carrot in here, quarter of a cucumber, a lot of lemon, and a lot of ginger. And so I basically rip those open. You can untie it with a handle, however you want to do it. If you want to reuse the bags, then don't rip it. But I'm not going to lie, sometimes it's a bit finicky. finicky. So I just rip them all open, 
And as you can see, they're all frozen good as the day that they were bought, nature's preservatives. So they're all like clumped together. If you can, it is often helpful to separate them a bit. It will help them blend a bit better when they go in. But either way, just dump them in there. And then I go to my fridge, which again is a bit of a mess right now, don't judge. <laughs> and I add some filtered water. And depending on how thick or thin you like your smoothie, add as much as you need. But I tend to add quite a bit because I do like it to feel like more of a refreshing drink in the morning, more of like a squash or juice in the morning to hydrate myself. So I filled it up just below max. It's also a great arms workout. Anytime people ask me what I do for my arms workout, I say I braid my own hair. And I also make my own smoothies. So yeah, that then goes on here. Okay, mine's actually looking quite a bit thicker than I usually like it. So what I will do is add some more water to that. I think I should be fine to do that with my protein. So I don't add my protein powder into this mix until I've already blended it because I personally, I'm not a fan of like bits in my smoothie. Um, that actually tastes fine as it is. It's a little bit tart. If you like it sweeter, you could add a bit of honey, but that does taste fine like it is. It's got the texture of a slash puppy which is really good. So I like to blend my smoothies for a long time because I don't want bits. I don't want bits of fruit in there, but I don't mind bits, but I prefer it to be as smooth as possible. But then what I do at this stage is I take my protein powder that you can see here and I will just add, I take a couple scoops of protein powder. Now, normally I wouldn't really add in any more water, but just because it's a bit thicker than I want it today, I'm gonna add in a little bit more water. And the reason why I add in the protein powder last is because it tends to expand a bit and it will fill up your, no matter how low, I mean, I'm above the max line now, but no matter how low you are on this, it will just kind of produce air as it blends and expand. And then it makes the lid really hard to get off. The, it's not good for your blender machine. So I will always only add it at the end once everything is already blended to the consistency that I want. And then I will just do a quick a really quick one as you can see. <laughs> I'll just do a quick blend and that is all mixed in and it mixes up so, so, so much better than if it was on its own. And that's pretty much it, you guys. Then I've got this massive drink that I just drink throughout my morning while I'm getting ready. Mmm, it's actually so, so good. The annoying thing is I've just realized I never weigh or measure the amounts of veg <laughs> I put in. My rule is that I only put in vegetables that I actually like. So. I only put in stuff in here that I like the taste of, that I know is good for me. So I like carrots, I like cucumbers. Cucumbers are all right, they don't offend me. <laughs> the things I don't tend to put in smoothies as often, unless I've got like a really strong other flavor to blur it out is stuff like raw kale. I might add that to a smoothie, but if so, I will definitely be adding protein powder to make sure that I can actually drink it. My number one health eating rule is to only eat food that you actually like. And I mean that, you guys. There's no point trying to chug something down like, oh, it's good for me. Like, no, just make something you enjoy and that way you can actually stick for it long enough to see a difference in your health, in the way that you feel. Um, so, although this kind of makes me feel good, like, instantly. Mmm. Oh, brain freeze. Ah, oh, that's cold. <laughs> it's good though, it's really good. Sometimes I do have these for like breakfast. I'm not a huge breakfast eater anymore, if I'm honest. I've just kind of gone out of it. I used to love breakfast, but recently I prefer to not eat until like midday and do like a mini like intermittent fast. So if one smoothie has three quarters of a lemon instead of one quarter of a lemon, I'm not actually that bothered. I just put everything that I have in them. But if you wanna be more specific, then play around with the ratios that I put in the description box, but feel free to change them. No one smoothie in my freezer at the moment is the same. I'm not that fussy. I know that I've only got in there stuff that I like. I know that the vegan protein powder will taste good, so. Yeah, I just put in stuff that I want. I am going to go ahead and end this video there. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. I really appreciate you. Thanks for joining this little corner of YouTube and like, yeah, just sharing life. I know that I share a lot of different things, but I really enjoy it. And so, yeah, thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, leave me a comment. Let me know if you try this. I would love to know if you try it. And let me know what other videos you want to see. If you want to see more recipes, because I have been rebuilding my repertoire of recipes so that I can eat healthily and actually enjoy it. 
and also with low effort. I'm not trying to be at the stove for three hours. No, not for me. Make sure that you become a member of this channel for access to my full length workouts and all of my fitness tips and support the channel because it helps me to be able to make more videos for you guys. Thank you so much for watching you guys. I love you so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.